basically hesitant because of the information that I was reading uh, in the newspaper, the uh, everything I was hearing on TV, people that I was listening to that talked about when they did get the vaccination, how they still got sick or how they were real sick a couple days after the vaccination. My husband didn't agree with getting the vaccine and living with your significant other, you want to compromise and make sure everyone's happy in the relationship and household. And I eat right and I'm healthy and um, my immunity is, is, is good. Uh, I wasn't too much worried about catching COVID or, um, or, or it affecting my life. But what I was really hesitant about and scared about is I have a 21 year old son who has multiple anaphylactic food allergies. And in the past, there's been vaccines he hasn't been able to take because they had one of his allergens in them or he had to have take them in small increments over the course of a day to make sure he didn't anaphylact. So I was really scared about what would happen with him and the COVID vaccine. And this was right when people were starting to take it and there were a few people who had allergic reactions and nobody really knew why. And I know sometimes that just happens, but it was really scary. But then one day, my 20 year old daughter who lives in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, asked me, she said, Dad, are you vaccinated? Because I'm vaccinated. I said, I said, not yet, sweetie, I'm not vaccinated yet. And then my daughter said, well, I'm planning on coming to Mississippi. When I come visit you, we're going to talk from a distance. I'm just going to stand in the driveway and we're going to talk like that. I had to stop and realize that I wanted to do it for my mom because my mom is a dialysis patient. And I had, I had to realize not to be selfish. I had to understand that it wasn't just about me. I had to understand that, you know, I come in contact with a lot of people at church. Sometimes when I go to the grocery store, because by my mom being a dialysis patient, I try to keep her out of the stores as much as I possibly can. So I had to realize that I couldn't be selfish. I had to do what I had to do, not just only for myself, but for my mom and also for my kids and my grandkids. The reason I um, went ahead and immediately rushed over to a pop-up place to get my vaccine was the thought of my 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 20 year old daughter and her twin brother and my my 25 year old son and my 24 year old son and my 33 year old daughter and thinking about the people I love and immediately it wasn't a I didn't have to think any longer I knew what to do I knew to get vaccinated to protect the people that I love um, I do help take care of my grandmother sometimes and my mom um, and that was a determining factor why I decided to get vaccinated was I wanted to make sure I'm safe and that my loved ones that are also high risk are safe as well and plus I don't want to get anyone out and about grocery shopping or at church sick either so but then when my son and I talked about it and he was all gung-ho ready to go get it when it was his turn I was still scared and he um, is at college in Memphis, so he's three hours from here. And what I wanted is for him to come home. And I even thought, you know, let's let's see if you can do it in the hospital. So if anything happens, you're right there. And of course, a 21 year old guy that wasn't with, didn't want to come home and do that with their mom. So he made a plan and I supported it, him in it, where, you know, he went with a friend. He told the people at the, cause it was one of those drive-through sites, I think. He told them about his allergies and they had him stay extra time. His friends stayed. And then he texted me like every five minutes while he was waiting, which we both agreed to. And once I got the vaccination, the biggest fear was in my mind. Because once I got it, I didn't get sick behind. I thank God for that. Uh, it didn't take long. I'm sitting there waiting on the guy to give me the shot. He was already finished. So, I mean, if you haven't been vaccinated or whatever, do your research. Think about it long and hard. Move yourself out of the way and think about the safety of other people because you come in contact with a lot of people all the time.